This is a, a video on what's next for the winners and losers of UFC 118. Let's first start off with Frankie Edgar. Um, as a lot of people know, Frankie Edgar next fight will be against Gray Maynard. Um, and it's a risky fight for him because he's already lost, lost to Gray. And um, I think personally that Gray's, um, you know, his, his great wrestling skills is really kind of the antidote to uh, Frank, Frankie Edgar's busy style. Um, you know, Gray's going to go in there and use his wrestling to slow him down and hold him on the ground and do what he does best. So, once again, Frankie is going to fight um, uh, Gray, Gray next, Gray Maynard. Uh, now we have BJ Penn, as you know, he got you know pretty much dominated in the fight against Frankie Edgar. Um, I would be really ill-advised if he would decide to move up, uh, move up in weight and jump out of the lightweight division. Um, that would be very crazy because there are still a lot of people, a lot of competitors within that the lightweight division that he could fight. Um, I see uh, the UFC pro try probably trying to put him against another rematch with Gomi or Kenny Florian. And then you still have the up-and-comers in the, in the lightweight division. You have George Soporopoulos and um, Evan Dunham. You have those guys. So I see him um, really going against those guys. I don't know if he would go against uh, Gomi, but I could see him going against uh, George Soporopoulos. Um, but it would be one of those four that he probably will go against. So once again, Gomi, Florian, Evan Dunham, or Sopharopoulos. He would probably have his choice of whoever he would like to fight uh, against that. Um, but it really doesn't matter because if, if, if Gray ends up beating Edgar, it won't be too long before he gets uh, another title shot anyway. He would just have to prove himself maybe with one or two fights. And he would be back um, going, against the, um, going against Gray for, for the lightweight championship. Um, okay, then we have Randy Couture, um, post-fight, um, Dana White said that he's going to move back down to 205, uh, to fight other top contenders, uh, he probably will go against, uh, Rich Franklin, who's probably up next, um, and, uh, there's others like Forrest Griffin and, um, and John Jones, as you know, are amongst the you know, the, the top contenders in that light heavyweight division. So he'd probably go against one of those. But I could see him going against pretty much Rich Franklin. Um, as you know, John Jones is going to fight uh, whoever wins the the Nogueira and uh, Ryan Bader fight. So probably, um, like I said, um, Rich Franklin. And James Tony, as you know, James Tony um, lost, obviously, ridiculously. Um, but... Even though he wants to still fight in the UFC, Dana White just said, you know, you're, you're done, goodbye. So that's the end of him. Um, Kenny Florian, um, losing out on his, what is it, his, his third chance to, to fight for the lightweight championship uh, is obviously a, a horrible blow for him. But I, it's, he's still probably the, he's still probably, he's still one of the top guys in the, in the lightweight division. One of the best guys still. Um, if Edgar beats uh, Gray Menard, then then I, I I can see the UFC really going to going to him to fight to for for someone to for Edgar to go against um, you know to for that's going to be a challenge for Edgar. I can really don't see see them coming to 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 Florian for that, saying hey you know we don't have anybody else um, and we want you to go against Edgar. So you know. But also, too, I wouldn't be completely against him moving up either if he wants a fresh start. Um, but also, like Penn, um, there's still a lot of fights still at 155 for him. Um, he could go against Evan Dunham and George Soporopoulos also. Um, those guys are, are the up-and-comers, and I can see him going against them also. So he has a few choices here, but he really needs to make a... A really good decision. What he wants to do is it is it does he have a better chance of moving up, or does he still or does he still want to contend since no, B J Penn is no longer the champion of that division? Does he want to go against the up and comers? Does he have a really good chance against them using his style, or does he just want to uh, move up to some, to some bigger guys and use his speed? You know, um, kind of like a. a uh, a Nate Diaz. Does he want to do that? Um, and then we have Damian Maya. Um, you know, returning to his to his um, 
his jujitsu style, you know, his last fight that he had with Miranda on, in 118, uh, and not going for the, you know, these guys don't really know how hard I hit type of thing. He went back to that. Um, and even though it is unlikely that he will ever, that, that he will, that he would even, not ever, but he won't get near a title shot so long that Anderson, so long, so long that Anderson Silva is still the champion of, uh, of, of, of the division, um, I, I could see him um, fighting, going, go, you know, going against a fight um, against Nate Marquette and um, and some other guys. You know, uh, maybe he could go against um, uh, Mark Munoz, which is another solid alternative. So um, I could see him going against guys like that. Then we have Mario Miranda. Uh, this fight, his fight that he did wasn't great at all. He just got dominated. He didn't get to show his skills at all. Um, that you know, it, it, you know, he has skills obviously to be in the UFC, but going against a guy like uh, Damian Maya, he wasn't able to show them. Um, maybe he would probably have to step back um, from the main events, or you know, from being on the main card, I should say, and jump back into that preliminary to get his status back up, and um, and you know, to get him back in the limelight, get those, get get a couple of wins underneath your belt before you come back on to the to the main card. So I see him getting pushed back into the preliminaries, and then we have. Um, Nate Diaz, which he did spectacular against Marcus Davis. Um, you know, he D Diaz seems to want to move back to 155, but I see him continuing in the in the welterweight division. You know, beating up on guys that are bigger than him, and him using his reach and his speed to dominate those guys. Um, but he also, I see in the post, if you saw the post fight conference, he called out a lot of the top contenders in both divisions for some reason. But, um, but um, the UFC won't allow that to happen. Uh, but, but personally, um, I think I would like to see him go against, uh, you know, Chris Lighty or somebody like that uh, to kind of test him. You know, Mr. Fight of the Night guy, you know, he... He really puts on those special fights. He's a great all-around fighter, and I would really like to see him go against Chris Lighty. And that's probably who he'll probably go against. Then we have Marcus Davis, um, who is about 37 years old, um, and he's on the ropes right now. Um, he's going down the UFC ladder with just one win in his last four fights. Um, this he may he may have one more opportunity to get back into the into and to his winning ways, but, um, and, and, and like the primary, and the prelims or something like that, but if he doesn't win his next fight, if the UFC even gives him one more fight, um, he's out. He's going to be out of the, out of the organization going somewhere else because he's on a, he's on a downward spiral. Okay, Super Matt Lopez um, asked me, um, who is my, who is my favorite UFC fighter? Well, my favorite UFC fighter is BJ Penn. Um, I love his style. I love the boxing and jiu-jitsu style, uh, with the jiu-jitsu being the base. Um, I just really, I mean, for me, it, it's a perfect style for that size, um, and it's well, well-rounded. Uh, it may not look so well-rounded in his last fight with, or his last two fights with, um, with Edgar, with Frankie Edgar, but nevertheless, he still is my favorite fighter. Thank you for the question, um, Super Matt Lopez. If you guys have any other questions you would like to ask me, go ahead and um, send them to me and um, I will post uh, the answers to them in my next video. I'll do up to three questions every video. So if you please, if you like my video, please comment, rate, and, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.